Good morning to you, and especially today, it's Friday. Happy Friday to you. Let's talk about some things that I don't usually buy too much of from my stockpile. Back in a minute. This is Jeff from New York City. Channel name is Jeff from New York City. Saves money. I truly love helping people keep some more of their own heart or money. I want to share with you some of the things that I don't usually stock up too much of in my stockpile. You know, everybody's circumstances are different. There is no such thing as a cookie cutter, perfect stockpile that every single human being on the face of the earth should have in an orderly manner with the exact same amounts. No, it doesn't work that way. Everybody's life is different. Everybody's situation is different. I just want to mention to you some of the stuff I don't necessarily get too much of. Now, I do not buy tons of fresh rice. Number one, I am not a huge rice eater. I like it. I enjoy it. I have to be in the mood of it. So therefore, for me to buy tons of rice, would defeat the purpose, okay? In addition to that, I also enjoy the uh, prepared rice, the one that's like so simple, the dehydrated type. You know what I mean. But I do also have the quote, end of quote, real rice. I keep both, but not tons of rice. Just saying, just saying. So for me, I don't stock up too much of that. Okay. Too many boxed cake mixes, I don't need to make tons and tons of cake. The only time I really purchase, to be honest with you, there's two times of the year that I tend to purchase box cake mix. That is in like the baking season, as I call it, the holiday season, good, good price. And I also don't buy, like ever see those like 10 for 10 type sales? I'm not going to buy 10. I don't need to buy 10. I just don't need it. So for my needs slash wants, I'm not going to buy 10 boxes of cake mix. Okay. Just saying, just saying they're great. Like if you have a big family living with you and stuff like that, and you know, you eat that kind of stuff more often than not. So that's fine. But for the person that doesn't, there's just no point. So I like to get a couple, maybe four around the holiday season. The other time I like to do it is in the spring because I have some family springtime birthdays type thing. And it's also near Easter time. So I like to get a couple for that season. But the remainder of the year, no, Mm -mm. not for me. Not saying it's bad. It's it's not necessary for me. Uh, Huge amounts of white flour. Now, of course, it has its great purpose. And I get a lot of use out of pancake flour, the complete one. You've seen some of my recipes in the past. But huge amounts of white flour, yes, it's good for me to have maybe a pound or two. Believe me or not, that will last me a long time for my needs, maybe as a sauce thickener or the occasional recipe, but I don't keep oodles and oodles of white flour or any flour for that matter. I'm just saying, just saying. Uh, I usually do not ever keep more than one box of crackers in the house. First of all, crackers do have a little bit of a, I don't know, what's the word, decay rate? Not very fast, but probably I think within six months. So I don't want to be in a situation where I'm throwing away the crackers by having too many boxes of crackers. So rather than that, I'd rather just keep one in the active pantry and one as a stockpile backup for when I'm low on bread products. And that's a very handy thing to do, especially in the middle of the winter when you're more prone to perhaps not want to go to the grocery store just for a bread item. So it's good to have at least that, you know, one box too much pasta items. I I'd love to have it. It's handy. I, I use it. I don't buy tons of it. I am still working with pasta that I bought like a while back. So I want to keep using what I have. I do uh, buy a couple of boxes of, let's say those Rotelli, I think it's called Rotini, those little short squiggly ones. They're very, very good when I make my frozen pasta dinners that I might get about two boxes of for the month. And I use them rapidly 
So that's very active. But my spaghetti tends to linger around. I have too many boxes. It's actually linguine to be, is it linguine? Or, wait, let me get it right. Or vermicelli, one of those. It's like in a spaghetti family. I haven't used it in like a few months. I don't even remember exactly what it is. I have to go back and check. <laughs> but um, I lean more towards uh, certain other things. But now another item I don't get too much of is white sugar. Not that I don't like white sugar. Not that it's not handy for recipes, but I just don't have that need. So, for example, I could buy, let's say, four pounds of white sugar, let's say, in October or November, and I don't need to buy another one till June. So, effectively, I did the math. Approximately, I would say I would get covered for a year's worth of white sugar, eight pounds of white sugar. And I, I bet I still would have some left over if I really calculated it to the letter. Um, don't use a ton of white sugar. And that's because also I don't need a lot of cereal. A lot of people put sugar on cereal. I don't do that. So everybody's life is different. You know, people's stockpiles are very, very life telling. Just saying, just saying. But here's what I do tend to like to get. Okay. I love to get canned fruits, canned vegetables, canned beans, canned sauces. I find canned tomato sauce is very handy. Canned pizza sauce, canned uh, prepared spaghetti sauce. It is just so easy to do. Now, as far as the freezer goes, uh, ground beef, if I get a great price on it, I will stock up on it. That's like the frozen stockpile. Or chicken, good, good price per pound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stock, stock, stock up on it. So basically, I love to stock up on those tuna pouches or canned tuna or canned chicken, uh, things of that nature. They are very, very, very handy. So I just thought that I would give you an idea. Let me know in the comment section below on some of the stuff that you really don't stockpile up too much of. I am curious. Let me know. Have an amazing weekend coming up. Take care. Thank you very much for being here all week. Love you. Bye-bye.